Hello everyone and very warm welcome back to my channel. My name is Xiao David and I spend way too much time working on tarot decks. Good news however, this is my third and final attempt at the Jean Doudal. And I want to thank you all for your patience, but I finally have got it to where I'm happy with it. Um, this is my wrapper that I put on my decks. I prefer to have them like this. Just gives it that authentic feel. And uh, let me open it up. So that's how it looks. This is my, I always put this on the inside of my wrappers. It's my um, version of the Gnostic uh, worldview um, based on the Luria Tree of Life. I'll explain more about it in some other video. But anyway, I do it for my decks because I I quite like this. So let me show you what I have. So as I said, this is the third and final attempt at this deck. Um, I do have some videos on my channel about it. This is the previous version that I had done. It's a significantly different. I, it's a lot brighter. This was an experiment actually to see how the colors would look if it were um, very brightly colored. The reason why I did that is because I think historically the decks would have looked slightly different. Um, this is the facsimile, as you can see, and I'll compare it alongside this deck. Actually, let me show you this deck first. Hold on. So, let me open it up. So this is what it looks like. I'll just go through card by card. You can pause at any time to have a look. It looks like this. Um, the deck that I made for myself is this thickness, which I don't have my ruler with me, so I can't really measure it against. But anyway, so it's the magician. And I have put on a blue back. Now the original color is obviously the um, paper color, the original white or aged paper color. But I decided to do the blue because I think it kind of matches the card back a bit more. So then we have this one. Press. And as you can see with all my tarot decks, I always try to give it the stenciled effect. How the um, decks would have been stenciled. I think it came out really nice. I'm quite happy with this edition, this version. And I think I'm going to keep it as it is. It works fine for me. I'm happy with it. Usually, um, not so happy with <laughs> the way it comes out the first time, or the second or third time. And here you can see how nicely it looks. If I compare to the back. I think it looks nice. I try to match the uh, blues. And fortunately, there is a historical tarot deck. I think it's the Gasman that has the blue back. I don't have that deck, but um, I believe it's a blue back. So it's not too far removed from historical probability. And I really enjoy the Dudal. I think. It's a very beautiful deck. Here yeah, you see more the uh, stenciling effect, even on the face. <laughs> the death card. And here too. We deliberately kept that in. 
This can occur when the stencil moves. I've had that happen to my stencil decks many times. When you're stenciling and just doing it too fast or not paying attention, and sometimes the stencil can move, lift up, and then you end up with some other line. Anyway, it's all part of the fun. Sun card is very cute. I really enjoy this card. And again, you can see the exaggerated um, paint bleed from the stenciling. I think it looks nice like this, to be honest. Um, let me compare, say, the Magician card. Um, what I wanted to do, let me find these three. Okay, so getting back to the facsimile, as I was trying to get to before. Um, okay, it's different size, I apologize, but you can see the slight difference here. And what I wanted to do is, I wanted to make it something in between the facsimile, which is quite gritty and dirty, and uh, Flournoy's deck, which is this one here, which is a very beautiful deck. I like it, and I really appreciate uh, Jean-Claude Flournoy's contribution to restoring the old decks. But I wanted to do something different. I wanted to make something in between the historical facsimiles and a more modern uh, digital type recreation. So this is somewhat in the middle between these. Apologies for the uh, light glare. But that was the genesis of it. I wanted to make something in the middle. Something that can be, can look like a stencil deck, but also be um, easy to, easy to see. Anyway, moving on. Get to the uh, minor arcana. So I'm hoping to, um, I have a lot of the work to do. I'm, I'm trying to finish up uh, some of the tarot decks that I've done. I'm trying to finish them all up within the next few months. I basically have to recolor grade them I've already done the Nicholas Conver 1760, the Nicholas Conver, uh, I think it's 1880, which is one of my favorite color patterns. I've done the uh, Jacques uh, Veville, that's completed. So I have these four decks completed. Now the next ones I have to work on is going to be the Jean Noble deck which I had already completed it. It's okay, but I wanted to keep it consistent with this kind of um, coloring, uh, with the heavy stencil line work, which I think is quite um, nice. At least I like it. And um, when I'm done with the Noble, I still have to do the, um, finish up the Madonet. I'm working on a Pierre Madonet deck which I just got to recolor it. And then I have the uh, Bodau deck, which also needs to be recolored. The Bodau will also be a third attempt at it. Hoping to get it done shortly. And then at least I could have um, at least seven decks ready. And I want to say thank you very much for uh, being patient with me. But uh, I want to make it right. I want to complete it, do it correctly. The code cards came out really good. The, the colors are very beautiful. I hope this shows clearly this camera. 
you can see here the stencil appears to be like uh, slightly shifted down yep it happens when I completed this and printed it out I got kind of a shock I thought this looks very similar to another uh, tarot artist's work and uh, while I greatly admire his work I thought oh this looks a little bit too much like it but on second taking out his deck and comparing it this is slightly different so it's definitely more my style but it looks similar to his style I guess it's a happy coincidence some heavy paint uh, paint bleed on this one uh, with the Madonna deck that I'll be doing oh, I've done the line work and started coloring at least the major arcana I'm still trying to get the right color um, color palette for that but once that is done and all the decks are completed then I'm going to do a stencil version of it. The Madonna is definitely, Pierre Madonna is my favorite um, Tarot de Marseille deck. And I really want to do a stencil version of it. And what I really want to do is make it a production version. I don't know, it's not in order, but anyway. And then. Overall, I'm really happy with the, the way it came out. As I said, this has taken some time to get it right. But sometimes you just have to step out of the way and then let the tarot card tell you how it's supposed to be colored. I've done too many times where I try to force my way on these cards and try to create it in the way that I think it should be only to have it backfire on me every single time so now i have learned my lesson step out of the way and just let the cards tell me what they want sounds very woo woo but i think it works and the last So that's it, that's the Jean Dudal that I've done, third and final version. This was the other second or third edition I think I did. You can see it's completely different, but uh, bear in mind this is um, not so good uh, cardstock. The printer, the, the ink I was using isn't very good, but it looks like this. We just compare the cups. It's the easiest one to show. Okay, comparing these two. You can see it's a vast difference, completely different. Totally changes the whole look of the cards. Let me get a bit higher. It's totally different. So that's that. So, um, I have this one ready to go, then, as I said earlier, the other deck I have completed is the Vivio, another beautiful deck, keeping in the same style with heavy stenciling effects. So, that's the other one that's completed. And I have completed this one, which is the the very first deck I did, actually. And this is the uh, Nicholas Convo 1760. It's a very vintage 
looking deck that I've done. And it's just the classic standard um, Nicholas Conver. And then the other deck that I have completed, the fourth one, is this one. This is the same Nicholas Conver wood blocks, but uh, the stenciling pattern is different, as you can see. So this one is completed too. So I have the um, the Dudal, this Nicholas Conver, 1760, oh sorry, 1880. Then I have the Vivio and the Nicholas Conver, 1760. So these four decks are finally completed. And as I said, I will be completing the, um, the Noble, the Pierre Madani, and the Bodau. So those three decks should be finishing up shortly. And then I'll be doing the stencil deck. So anyway, thank you very much for your patience. And as soon as these are all done, I'll be sending them out. Um, I know there is one person I have to send these decks to first. Mandy, you know who you are. I send it to Mandy because she's been patiently waiting so long for these decks. So I will send it to her first before anybody else can get it. <laughs> That's what happens. That's what patience gets you. Anyway, thank you very much for your um, for watching, and please let me know what you think of the the coloration of the um, doodal. I, I'm really happy with it. I honestly really like it. I think it came out just perfect, in my opinion. And normally I'm very critical of these things. I make it, print it, and then hate it. Usually I give them away or just throw them away. But this one I'm really happy with. I quite like it. And that's it. Thank you very much for uh, watching again. And hope you have a beautiful day wherever you are out there. Thank you.